Hey guys, it's Anna Bienvenida otra vez a mi canal if you're new here, what is up? So as you guys can tell, today is another haul because what is new for my channel? But today this is going to be just a Ross haul. I'm going to try to make it a little bit of a shorter, hopefully, a little bit of a quicker video. I don't have too, too much stuff, but I have a good handful of stuff, some clothes and obviously some makeup. And I did find some stuff for my plants because you guys know I'm a plant mom out here. I'm going to be totally honest, this was from maybe like two, three weeks ago. So I kind of don't remember everything that I have in this bag. So this should be a fun time for everyone involved because I don't remember what I got. Before we get into the haul though, I hope you guys subscribe to my channel, especially if you guys are into hauls from like places like TJ Maxx, Ross, Nordstrom Rack, Marshalls, all the goodness. Give the video a thumbs up so that YouTube can alert you every time I post new videos, but I do try to get you guys new videos every Sunday. I am trying. <laughs> Let's get on into the haul of all the stuff that I found. First thing that I got is this Ray Dunn mug. Oh yeah, there is stuff from Marshalls mixed in or maybe just this but so this is just the on fleek mug I remember when I was looking for this and I just couldn't find it anywhere I did find a few of these the other day or did I show this I think I already showed this mug actually and now I don't remember but I remember talking about how I, I couldn't find it and then I saw like five of them the other day and I should have grabbed it but so I got this from Marshall's it was $5.99 I don't think I already showed this but if I did here it is I only have one <laughs> then I got this the other day you guys know that I had a huge move and I cannot find anything in my storage now so I picked up this new coffee thing it kind of matches my outfit a little bit gotta have my coffee in the mornings now you guys know my bulletproof coffee I've shown you guys before this one is just the brand Urban Elements on here. I got this one from Marshalls. Yeah, Marshall stuff mixed in here. I got this one on clearance. It's mainly why I bought it too. I don't know how much they were trying to get. I think it was originally $10 at Marshalls, but I got it on sale for $6. Looks like they tried to mark it down twice and then I took them home. But it's just like one of those press ones and it's got a little scoop that I need to take out of there. Just push it down to make your cafe. Very nice. So I have my stuff today in my little Ross bag. Yes for less. Hashtag yes for less. So I'm going to start with this because it is huge and I have stuff sitting in it. So I got two huge planter pots, like ginormous, and I was like walking around the store with them. Okay, like it's. <sighs> ah, my makeup. Look at this thing. Oh my gosh, I can't even get it all in the frame. Me compared to this huge thing. It's like the size of my body. So this is just one of them. It's by the brand Colonnade Wood Resin Blend Planter. Punch out the excess for drainage, weather resistant. Maybe it's by Blowem Living. I don't know. I can't really tell by the sticker, but I got this from Ross. As you can see, it was $12.99. Does say compare at $26. This one does have a little crack on it, which is funny because it says it's like can withstand the weather. But I don't know what happened. It looks like maybe it fell. It got a little bit of a crack, so I'm gonna have to add in some like what's it called? Crazy glue or something, like super glue, just to fix that little spot. Um, and I think because it was broken, they took off like a dollar or something. But I got this one because I have huge plants in this place. And I actually got this one too. So I got two huge planter pots. We're getting wild over here. I could probably like fit in this actually. Huge. It does have drainage holes, but so this type of stuff can be found at Ross. I actually like almost didn't even see these. They were underneath um, tables that they had sitting in like an open area of all of their like gardening stuff. So I don't know how I almost didn't see it. I just wasn't really paying attention to what was under there. I don't think I ever really do. But today I'm glad I did because I found these huge planter pots. So here's this one. It's slightly smaller, but it's still ginormous. This one I did get full price if I can find it. It has my clothes on the inside of it. There's a little Ross tag at the bottom. I got this for only $6.99. It does say comparable value is $12. But I thought that was a great price for these because even if I were to get them from like the drugstore I feel like they would still be like $20. You would probably get them like buy one get one maybe but still would probably probably be more than what I paid I think. So inside I do have some shorts. So I'm just gonna dump these out. Got a handful of shorts because it's summertime. I love getting my shorts especially from Ross. It's so weird. I just feel like I always have the best luck with like leggings and shorts from Ross and the weird thing is I I, it's like I see a lot of similar things at Ross that I've seen online at Amazon, which is really weird. Like I've never seen the TikTok, like the viral TikTok leggings anywhere else. And I found those TikTok leggings at Ross, okay? I didn't see the price of them, but I walked past them and I was like, hey. A lot of these shorts too are shorts that I've seen on Amazon. So this is just a black pair, but I really like these because it does have like a little mesh detail on the thigh. And I only got shorts that were, that had pockets included. And I think all of them are high, high waisted. But so these have, it's got a mesh, mesh pocket right there. Oh, I guess they are mesh pockets. 
pockets on the side for this one, but high-waisted shorts. These ones are by the brand Leg End. Okay. So from Ross, I got these for $8.99. It says comparable value is $19. But let's see if there's a price on here. Just Leg End 7-inch mesh inset pocket biker short. Gotta get some black shorts and then I got some colorful ones. I usually don't get colorful bottoms just because I just don't have good luck with them. <laughs> we'll leave it at that. But I was like, let's just try it this year, okay? And see what happens. Some more shorts, obviously, because that's all I picked up in clothing. So I thought these were kind of cool, I guess. They're high-waisted again. Obviously, they have pockets. These ones are a much bigger pocket on the side, actually, right there. But they're also going to go a lot lower on my leg. They do also have that little mesh detail to it, which is cute. These are by the brand Technical Knockout. I got these in a size medium, which I didn't realize, but I think they're going to be okay. So I got these ones for $7.99. They say comparable value is $16. But on the actual store brand tag, it says $48. I got $48 shorts for $8 from Ross. Okay, some more colorful shorts. Oh, these are the same brand as the black ones, but these are obviously, they look longer, right? And they don't have the mesh detail on the side, but they do, again, have the pockets because that's what I was after. Again, it's just the leg end. Oh, these are mediums too. I usually only get smalls. Okay. But so again, $8.99. They say comparable value is $20. These are the nine inch flat pocket biker shorts in medium. They look like they're going to be fine though. They better be fine because these are cute. Oh, these are the brand of shorts that I got last year and I almost bought from Amazon because this brand is so, so, so good. This is the Ebb and Flow brand. These ones are in a size small. High-waisted, long, so they'll go down my thigh pretty low, pockets on them. These ones didn't have a tag on them, but I think the guy rung them up for using one of the other tags. So I either paid $7.99 or $8.99 for those, but I love that brand especially. Let's get on into the goodies. So it's like the only thing that's slightly random, but if you've seen any of my other videos, my other hauls on this channel, you guys would probably know. I'm into planner stuff. My madre actually found these because that's who I was with. And we want to use these to like hold our books or like our planners open because some books, you know, they don't stay open. So you just clip them and it'll stay down. But these are actually stainless steel bag clips, but you can always use these for stuff like that too. Just got to think out of the box a little bit with stuff. This one again was from Ross, obviously, because everything is in this haul. This was only $3.49 cents and they are a, have a comparable value of five dollars so nice stainless steel clips then something else before we get on into the makeup and everything these wow how do you even say this simplosophy simplosophy glass nail files what's the thing about glass nail files again is it that they're they never lose the like filiness texture the grit to them fine to medium grit double-sided right? They just like never lose their thing or something. There's something about these glass ones. I don't know. But these were $2.99. They have a comparable value of $5. Then I only got one thing that's like a skincare brand, I should say. So this is the Peter Thomas Roth, but it's shampoo. Like, ugh. I've never tried Peter Thomas Roth shampoo or like anything for my hair. So we'll kind of see how this goes. I just trust the brand. So I was like, yeah, let's try it. It's the Mega Rich Nourishing Shampoo with biotin, vitamin E, vitamin B5, clean, shine, nourished, healthy looking hair. Peter Thomas Roth. So I did actually get this on clearance from Ross. It's got their little reduced sticker on here. So I paid $6.99 for this. It does have original price was $9.99, but I don't know what this usually goes for if you were to get it from like Sephora, but shall see how this goes. It's just shampoo. How much is in here? Eight fluid ounces. Oh, it's pretty. It matches the curtains in here a little bit. And if you can see my hair today, it has not been looking that great. So I need to adjust whatever it is that I need to be doing with my hair because it's like all of a sudden, I think it's my diet because I haven't been eating well, to be honest, but we're going to have to fix thisness. So I was like, let's just try it out. Anyways, into the makeup. I don't even know what to show first. I guess it's going to be this. This is the Kat Von D Shade and Light Mini Palette in the colorway or version version new pop new pop and funny thing about this is I actually ordered this from Sephora and it just hasn't gotten here yet <laughs> and I couldn't remember if I had actually gotten this one I should have checked my orders in the store but I was trying to move around so fast so I was just like oh I'll just get it and check later but it's okay that I did because I actually got this for only six dollars and 99 cents which is actually less than what I paid for it on sale at Sephora I think I paid twelve dollars and this one was only seven so it says comparable value is nineteen dollars 
I feel like hopefully I have like everything. I'm still waiting for a few things to come from Sephora. I love these little quads by Kat Von D. You guys know I've gotten the other ones when they've come out at these stores too. These ones open. I think they're newer, right? Open so much better than the old ones. The old ones used to like not open all the way back. It was weird. But so this one's super pretty, but you've got that nice pop of color and then like kind of like base colors in there too. Very nice. I personally love Kat Von D makeup. I'm sorry. I just, I really do. It's something else that I'm super excited about. I don't, I never hear anyone talking about this brand, but I know for sure that this brand is definitely at Sephora because I even pulled up this product from Sephora and it is still like almost $30. I think it's $27 on Sephora. It is the Ronde Lips Lip Plumpers from Sephora that you can find at Ross. I think this is now my second time finding this brand, but it's maybe my first time finding the actual lip plumpers. I can't remember what I got the other day. Oh, my foot is going numb. Falling asleep. Eek, eek, eek. Okay, so we got two different products here, and I'm pretty sure all of the colors of these that I have, when I got home, I checked on Sephora's website so quick. They didn't have these colors, but they still have this product right here. We'll talk about this one first that I'm pretty sure is the one they still have on the website. This is the Grande Lips Hydrating Lip Plumper Gloss. We got two different colors here. Instantly improves lip volume in three to five minutes. 90% fuller looking lips. 97% say lips feel hydrated with this. These do really feel nice. They plump better, I will say, than the Amazon Viral Plumper. That didn't do anything for my lips. It feels cool, I guess. Like, it's a little nice tingling, the one from Amazon. This one stings, and it does really redden up your lips a little bit, but I, didn't, I don't think I saw too much plumping, but I'll have to show you guys this on my Instagram and probably my TikTok as well, so make sure you guys are following me on there so you guys can see kind of some of this stuff in action, me trying some of this stuff out. Got these each for $6.99. They say comparable value is $21, but but they still have some on the Sephora website for $27. They just have different colors still. So this one is in the color Dusty Taro. It even comes with like a little paper. What is this? Beauty Choice Product, New Beauty Winner Award. It's got like a little pamphlet about it. Okay. But these look so luxe too. Like it looks like something you'd buy from Sephora, right? So I don't think I tried this one yet. It's in the color Dusty Taro. So it's got a slight color to it, which I like. It's this little, it's like a dusty rose. Dusty Taro. It's one of those that's got like this little button down here that you punch punch that you push up and it goes into the tube. I'll show you the other one because I did already start or try it the other day. I literally almost bought these for a full price from Sephora. That's how bad I wanted to try these and now they're popping up at Ross. So this is the one that I already kind of tested out once. So this one's in the color Hibiscus. Hibiscus. So again it's just a really pretty pink if you can kind of see it through there and see this one if you can kind of tell a little bit better. So you just like push this little button and the product goes into the little thing. It's probably out of focus. I don't want to mix all this together. And then you just add it to your lips. Can you kind of see it on there? Maybe no. I like these. Now that I know I can find them for $7, I'm probably literally going to grab every single one that I find because it's like almost $30 lip plumpers, okay? So this one right here, though, same brand, obviously, the Grande Lips. It's the Hydra Plump Liquid Lipstick with a metallic semi-matte. It's in the color Rose Blush. 97% comfortable to wear. 94% lips look naturally fuller. 94% didn't sting. So this one apparently does not sting. Look at the packaging. And it's it's like it feels like metal I don't think it is but it feels like metal oh that is hefty how do I open this oh it twists off oh it is metallic-y wow whoa I cannot wait to try these and I feel so much better about getting lip products honestly from Ross because they did keep all this stuff in the lock boxes and I was definitely to the first person to ever touch these because it took like an hour to get all the product up through it <laughs> so I'm super excited about these highly suggest if you find those to grab them and try them out if you like lip plumpers and then you guys I found a good handful of Marc Jacobs stuff so exciting I know and it's funny because I just told my sister too because they had the sale at Sephora and there was so much Marc Jacobs stuff on sale. I was like, that stuff's gonna end up at TJ Maxx, Marshalls, and Ross. Just watch. And it's all starting to pop up. I found this one. It is the Runway. Marc Jacobs Runway 912 2018. 2018. Omega Shadow. Okay, my lips are starting to tingle a little bit. Omega Shadow Gel Powder Eyeshadow in Rose? 
Royce. It's spelled R O a pot wait exclamation mark S E. But I got Marc Jacobs eyeshadow for five dollars and ninety nine cents. Comparable value twenty dollars. And I'm pretty sure this is like a limited edition runway color. And even the box is so cute. Packaging. I think I've shown some of these eyeshadows from Marc Jacobs before. They look the same. You even get a mirror in this little tiny thing, little cover. It says Marc Jacobs. And then look how beautiful this color is. It's the exact same color as the box. <gasps> how cute is that? I can't believe I got this. How much were these though if you were to find them at the other discounted stores like this? PJ Max Marshall. And then I found just one Marc Jacobs The Marc Lipsticks. Oh, they call it the Lip Cream Creme. Lip Creme. So this one's in the color Georgie Girl. It was only $5.99. Says comparable value is $16. I think I might have this color already, so I'm going to have to double check. If I do, someone will be getting a Marc Jacobs lipstick. But we love the packaging. Magnetic. Love Marc Jacobs stuff. Oh my goodness. Look at this beautiful pink. Look at the Marc Jacobs stuff sitting back there too. So pretty. This. I'm sure there's nothing else in my bag. <laughs> These are Marc Jacobs lip glosses. It's so funny because like I've done a few hauls now where I've gotten the little mini lip glosses in some of the sets from Marc Jacobs and I was like, I've never tried the Marc Jacobs lip glosses before. This is my first time trying them. And now <laughs> I got them and guess how much I got them for at Ross. Just guess. I got these for $5.99 a piece. They say comparable value is $20, but I think the glosses are actually maybe 22 ish, right? Maybe 18 to 22. I don't know. But so this is the Marc Jacobs Enamored Dazzling Gloss Lip Lecker. So I got two of the Dazzling Gloss Lip Leckers. So this first one, this one's so pretty. It's like a really nice gold, but pinky reflect glitter. This one's in the color Electric Light. Very much pretty. And then this other dazzling one, again, $5.99 from Ross. This one is in the color Pink Parade. And again, this one has got like kind of a holographic sheen to it with glitter. So these are the two dazzling colors that I got versus the Enamored High Shine Gloss Lip Lacquer. So I got two of those. Again, they were each $5.99. They say comparable value is $20. The first color, how gorgeous is that? The weird thing though, this looks like a lilac, right? It looks like lilac, like a purple, right? Or am I crazy? This looks like purple. They call it pink steam. And it's not in the wrong box because even on the bottom it says pink steam. Does it maybe look more pink when you put it on? Okay. It's got like a sheen to it. These look like chunky glitters in the other one, the dazzling one. But the high shine ones look more of like a sheen. They don't look like they have such chunky glitters in there. I'm not saying this looks like chunky glitters. I'm just saying they look like bigger glitter pixels. Okay. The other high shine gloss that I got is in the color Taboo. I have these four Marc Jacobs full size lip glosses from Ross for only $6. That is drugstore prices for Marc Jacobs for high end makeup. Are you kidding me? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you to the Ross gods. So that is it though for this haul. I'm super excited to add all this stuff and organize it into my makeup. That always makes me so happy. I will definitely show you guys some pictures of everything on my Instagram. So stay tuned for that so you guys can see a better picture of them. And let me know in the comments below if you guys have ever tried any of these things or if maybe you just found some at these stores or at Ross. Let me know. I love hearing from you guys. If you're still maybe on the hunt for anything though, positive vibes are sent your way. Don't worry. If you guys haven't yet, I hope you guys subscribe to my channel. Make sure you hit the bell notification so YouTube can let you know every time I do post new videos, but I do try to get them out every single Sunday for you guys. I'm trying my best. I appreciate all you guys for watching my videos. I love hearing from you guys here in the comments on Instagram. Muchísimas gracias for watching este video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs> Bye, guys.